Hello everyone, my name is Pablo, and welcome back to Road to Rank 1. This is the third episode, and in this one we're going to be featuring the Marceau, the Poison, and the Summers. I believe uh, Red Gaming Dino has a friend who really wants me wants to see me play the Marceau and the Summers, so I do that per request, of course. And somebody else requested Poison and told me they had trouble with it, so I want to make sh sure that I can show you that this, this is a good ship. I prefer the Poison mostly over GK, except the guns feel kind of lacking, but we'll get to that. I thought we should start out with the Marceau, the fastest of the bunch. Then we'll take Poison after, and then we'll take Summers. So for my build on Marceau, I have Robert Jean -Jean, Jean -Jean, yeah, Robert. I have Robert. He's sorry, Nicholas. I can't. I can't pronounce it. I can't remember. Jar Jar. We take emergency response plus actually i don't know i just felt like it, it's 66 percent it takes down so it's pretty good we take torpedo alert preheating plus air defense expert daredevil plus um i mean you could take healing i would take healing if it wasn't a legendary commander but yes exploit weakness fully prepared adrenaline rush swift as the wind which is an awesome skill it makes your engines accelerator do double you know double the duration so that's great or at least yeah that should be double the duration or maybe close maybe it's 50 percent extra in, in reality honor seeker armor piercing cap shell and giant hunter i opted out of ifhe because i feel like this he just it, it just kind of shits on me with the fire chance the fire chance on marceau's guns is two percent only but I'm, I'm just super unlucky with that i i tend to use ap quite a lot actually um, but the the he is what you should use on bbs this is my setup again i'm gonna put this, the disclaimer that reload mod doesn't do much on a ship that reloads very fast but i like reload mod if you want the most optimal build i would probably say you should either take the torpedoes or the main battery first but on marceau they really do turn quite fast these guns so i still take reload but that's me. Anyways, enough talking. Let's hop in a game. Here we go. And we actually get a game that's two bots acceptable. I mean, it is, what is it? One in the afternoon on a Thursday. So it's not expected to find full player lobbies. Let's see here. Now, Marceau is in the shipyard right now. And I thought that was a good idea to feature it then. I'm also going to talk about the buffalo soon. Seeing as there is a Cruces of Blitz coming up. I haven't worked on it yet, but uh, I'm beginning soon. And uh, yeah, the Buffalo is in the store right now. You can got, you can buy it for your gold upright, uh, outright. I think it's a bundle. I haven't really seen it. But anyways, what are we up against DD-wise? We're against the Holland. That can be scary, but we don't have a smoke either way. And we're qu pretty... It's English. We're pretty fast, so... I'm not too scared of his torpedoes, but a San Luis, that is something I don't want to deal with, actually. So we're going to speed up here because he's turning in, so you can see he's going to detect me probably. But he seems to be stopping, so I guess we can get away from him a little bit here. Start opening up with our guns. Hey, I'm right here. So, Marceau is a very good rabbit, and... Oh, look at that, that's Holland... No, that's San Luis torpedoes. They ran out, okay. But, the Marceau is really fast and can act a rabbit for your team. So, everybody focuses you. It's gonna take some time for them to actually take you out, because you can always just run away. I mean, you're never forced to stay in a position. It's very easy for you to get out of something. But, you do have to keep in mind with the Marceau that... Because you are so fast, the time it actually takes for you to complete a turn at full speed is very slow compared to, of course, if you were, let's say, a Summers. Summers turns extremely well. Same with Clever. They they have a very bad turning circle, but that's because they're fast. And they don't have the best rudder either, so keep that in mind. There's the San Luis. This guy, he probably knows I'm looking at him all the time. Oh, nice. We got the Smolensk. That's really good. We're radar. Okay. 
Yeah, we should probably use the AP here. Because it is a San Louis, we can probably pin him pretty good. Yeah, look at that. If you see us on our so it's good. But the accuracy is not the best on this ship, I will say that. You can't pick accuracy mod, so... We have to think about the, uh, the Holland and the Lepanto. Lepanto is not looking this way, so... We are gonna give the Holland a little bit of love. Not hit the island, okay. Good stuff. Always check your map when you're in a position like this where you're sailing across. If I got stuck on that island, the Lepanto would definitely have a very good shot at me if he was looking. He's not, so. I am gonna disengage from these two guys. I think the San Luis will have trouble picking on my Iowa alone. Oh, of course. It is. <coughs> I speak about looking at your map and then we beach good stuff <laughs> currently we only have 14k it's not the most interesting game it looks like my team just kind of flanked and they destroyed everybody so i don't really know i'm just gonna go with the sow here that's an iowa and that's a lepanto i want to see the lepanto shoot his sap or his whatever he's about loaded before I even open up. I'm pretty sure he's not looking this way, so I think we're good. What you can do in the Marceau and the Clavier, you can get behind your targets. And it's gonna be harder for them to actually use their guns, but look, he's turning this way now. He's dead to torpedoes though, so I just wanna get an assist. I think this lobby here is uh, one where it's gonna be very one-sided. I mean, this game, look, look how fast we just... They just left our base, went to their base, and we won, basically. So, a pretty boring game, to be honest. <laughs> now I'm just trying to do everything I can to get trophies. Come on, give me the kill. Yeah! I'm gonna let these two guys take the base. Hope I'm hoping to get some damage on the San Luis turning into the island so we might we might just nope he's going around okay he's dead why are you not in the cap okay so we might just have made this game interesting so I refuse I simply refuse to go back now I thought my BB was going to go in the cap, but he's not. He, he actually went outside. Interesting. Well, I never saw if he actually got in there. I'm not sure he did. But I think we have time. Pretty sure we do. I mean, when you go 50 knots, it's... Everything's possible. So if you go full speed build on Marceau, I'm pretty sure you can get up to 60 knots. Uh, I didn't show the elite bonus, but I did not choose the speed buff. I chose the gun buff. So I, I think you should do that too. This is a gunboat, but it it's got some of the most ama amazing torpedoes in the game. So some would probably argue it's not a gunboat. It's kind of kind of a hybrid. I mean, Red Gaming Dino, you're the expert here, so I'm expecting to see a comment. Um, and I would love an, like an answer or your opinion on this. Is it a gunboat or is it a torpedo boat? And anyone else, please chime in. Um, because I don't know I feel like the torpedoes they are great in close range because they reload so fast and you know you, you have two sides so you have what 12 in total I think that's pretty interesting but the, they are very slow I feel and they're easy to dodge easy to expect it to I mean you kind of expect them or so to have shot torpedoes so I tend to only use the guns really but look at this they're quite good and we end up winning so a somewhat boring game turned out to be okay trophy wise baby oh baby you did it i mean she took out the smolensk so for in, in my opinion mvp right there we get 180 trophies that's pretty good there's also a new, new event oh it's the rio de janeiro blitz a nice event where you get a free tier 5 premium i think that's pretty cool next up 
is the Preussen. First off, I'll just show you the Elite bonus. I chose this instead of the Advanced Engine. For the Preussen, ooh. So a lot of people are split about this ship. Again, it's in the store right now, and a perfect time to make a video on it. So this is my commander. He is max level, and he is equipped. You, you see, he's a tanky build. I opted out of artillery maintenance, actually. Um, but that's because I really like getting close and brawling in this thing, because Preussen has 12 12 406 millimeter guns, which is powerful. That's a Montana broadside. Now, it doesn't have the accuracy of a Montana, but it's got the German AP. It's got the German trajectory, the shells. But the secondaries is where it's at, man. You get secondary overload 2. Yeah, there it is. And, you know, GK only gets one. So it kind of stole the 2 from GK, which is BS in my opinion. GK should have kept that. Considering it has all destroyer camo, but then you get some rapid reload. It's pretty good and you get torpedoes as well Let's hop right in first. Here's the commander. I showed him before but Healing of course, we don't have precise aim I didn't opt in for an extra rapid reload because honestly, that's not what the poison's about in my opinion the poison's about those secondaries and Recon and surveillance adrenaline rush fully prepared close quarters combat expert is mandatory If you don't you're just dumb. I mean that that would be that would be stupid, you know. The Poison is more of a secondary build than the GK. Let me put that straight. Uh, and then we got APCS and Horizontal Protection Expert. So the GK is more of a snipey ship, whereas the Poison is the uh, get up close brother type. Oh, my build. I totally forgot. I don't want to have this. I found out people say that this doesn't help at all. So instead, we're going to take the yeah, acceleration. So I got to put that in, I think. My GK is where it was also equipped. Yeah, we changed that. Good. Thank you for the stream to help me with that. That's awesome. Um, it's great that people can tell me that some equipment apparently doesn't work. I'm surprised. All right, we got a game. We uh, we got actually a nice game with a lot of players. And there's only one Shimmer. Thank God. And look at all this sap they have. Now, the Thunderer is going to be a problem if he just decides to fire HE. Uh, of course, the AP is also dangerous, but it is a German ship. So they do tend to burn quite a lot often. And for those of you who don't know, the best ships for preventing fires are the American BBs. The worst are probably the Japanese and the German. Because in real life, they built their ships with uh, wooden decks. Pretty sure the Americans did so too, but not on Montana and Iowa and such. I don't know. Actually, maybe on Iowa. But anyways, in the game, in the game, they burn quite easily, these things. You can also see that the superstructure on a German ship is massive. You get two funnels, this huge, voluptuous, armored, I, I don't know what it is. The bridge is part of this. But if you compare it to a Montana, quite slim, the Montana's uh, superstructure. And that's the, and you know, the same with Ohio, Georgia. That's the good thing about those lines, that it's kind of hard to farm those superstructures. Oh, hello, Donskoy. I'm just waiting for him to turn full broadside. So, the guns here on Poison are very hit or miss. But you can see they, they sometimes are very good. And that was a great salvo for Poison. With this, when you have 12 guns, you, you know, citadels are nice, but it's not really the main attraction here. Just the fact that you have 12 guns is, is great. The firing angles on Poison are awful. The, I mean, the angle you can get, look how much is, let's say that the Montana right there is what I'm trying to shoot. And look at my back, my back turrets. Only now, I'm almost full broadside. Only now can we shoot all guns. So that's a very big downside to the Poison, in my opinion. So you gotta maintain sharp angles uh, when you're brawling if you want to maintain your HP as well. All right, so the Shimmer is most likely somewhere around here, hence why I'm activating radar. Maybe the Venezia is actually fighting him. All right, so Montana is angled. Lepanto is in the smoke. Thunder is the the best target really because he's not very much armored. So uh, that that's what I'm talking about. That's kind of like the poison. The poison accuracy, we hit five shells, some of them overpinned. 
Now I'm hoping for my Venezia or letting him get by here. Let him get some space. Because we're gonna we're gonna brawl these these guys for sure. Okay, my set 46 is dead. Oh, we're not in range. Now we are. There we go. So with this build, full secondary, you get almost nine kilometers of range when you have the overload on. Get that rapid reload activated. We got a shimmer moving in. Shimmers are always fun. Let's see if we can get behind this island before he uh, has a chance. And heal some because we are looking to get below half HP soon. Oh, I hate when shimmers go undetected. Okay, he, there he is. There he is. Let's deal with him. Or at least make him think twice about this he's trying to do. There we go. Venezia is going to help us. He's firing AP though. That's unfortunate. Toby swaps. Sonar up. Okay, so we're low. I have to rely on my Venezia to take out the Shimmer. I'm gonna go into a... Oh, what is that Shimmer actually doing? He could be torping me right now. We have Sonar, but we are too close. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, he's dead. He didn't get his torpedoes off. That was close. Thank you, Venezia. Good shot. Good shot, man. Are we healing? We just, we're just tanking at this point. That is what Poison does, guys. This is how you do it. This is how you play Poison to the maximum effectiveness. Get close. Get all your secondaries off. I'm gonna let my Moskva finish him off. He's not. He's not. Oh, he, I should have taken that kill. That's unfortunate. So, we did 93k, um, but we are now in the problem that my whole team, except this Moskva here, is actually just away from the map. So, thank you for that, Panzernik. I appreciate you actually trying, but yeah, I don't know what Montana is doing all the way over there. I, sh I mean, sure, he's getting, he's getting attacked by Venezia, but it shouldn't be that hard. Let's see. I mean, it is risky to brawl like that, to go in like that, but I would say we provided a lot of distraction for our team, so they could have done considerable damage. Let's see how they do. Uh, Holland, I was hoping you would go for the Thunderer here. That would be ideal. I think uh, maybe the Montana here takes out the Venezia. I hope so. Yeah, you don't have a CV, unfortunately, Panzernik. It's it's a bot. <laughs> I mean, if the Holland decided to go for the Thunder instead, we could have won this probably. But he is too far away. Come on, Banshee, do it! Shoot! Shoot! We actually lost this. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. But that's how it goes. Let's see if he takes him out before this. Oh. And the Holland's just gonna run away now. Yeah, we lost that, so... I mean, that's not the Poison's fault, in my opinion. The Poison's a great ship, and when you have the camo I use, go for secondary build. But if you don't have this camo, I'm, I would say that you should probably just maybe try the guns. The guns are still good if you, you know, make them more accurate. But for me, it's a secondary ship. So if you're not into that, I don't think you should get the poison. I think you should just get the GK instead, to be honest. But let's hop on to the Summers here. Um, what a what an annoying loss, but whatever. I want to check the stats, so I'm going to cut back when the game's over so we can see. All right, so the, we, we got back from the game. Moskva and I obviously got top placement, but it doesn't help that, you know, you have a DD that dies instantly. He was against... Venezia, so fair enough, but um, yeah, it, it happens, it's it's the name of the game. So let's move on to the summers here, and uh, yeah, my build is with William Sims. Now, <laughs> I rarely play summers, but with William Sims, I, I'm guessing he becomes quite good because you get 
the sixth sense and you get mist weaver plus and the torpedo uh, buff, buff of course with exploit weakness too so it's quite a powerful build damage wise again reload and uh, detection and then i've taken acceleration because summer's turns very well so you don't really need acceleration for the elite bonus i took the flooding one the torpedo one because it's a torpedo boat so but the guns are great as you can see you get eight guns and what caliber are they 127s that's pretty good actually all right instant game instant game let's see here there's a cv and a venezia and there's a couple dds so no battleships wow that's very unfortunate actually <laughs> that's really unfortunate but makes for an interesting gameplay i guess so let's see here domination i'm happy it's not uh base defense or what's it called base capture Oh, I really hope, I really hope I don't see the Venezia when I get to A, but I guess we have to go. Or we should... No, we don't really get a spawn to go B, and the DD's going there already, so... We'll move on here and take A. Now, this again is from Red Gaming Dino's request, or his friend, sorry. Um... He loves the Summers, and I know a lot of people do. It's I, I will say this. It's probably one of the best tier 10 DDs there is. I It's way better than Shimakaze, in my opinion. Because you actually get some good guns. You get some awesome smokes. So you can kind of play this like a gunboat and set fires if you are waiting for your torpedoes anyways. So in my opinion, if you want to get a tier 10 DD that's at the S tier, get the Summers. Of course, it's a premium, but it's one of those ships that's probably going to be in the shipyard again. I got it in the shipyard at least, so. Let's see here. We got something something in A. That's a gearing. And Neptune, okay. Just gonna smoke up here as soon as he gets in. Neptune probably will... Oh, is he turning into my torps? The blessing in disguise. It's free 4k damage right there. We should probably swap to AP here. See, you, are, you notice I am reversed into this cap i want to be able to get away as quick as possible he can't see me yet so i'm still just going to stay in here 19 seconds there's a neptune looking most likely now i think to note if you are fighting bots and you're trying to use smoke if you smoke up before they detect you they won't spot you in the smoke okay here we go that's a neptune but if they if you smoke up when they have spotted you it, it probably won't work and it's a very annoying bug, bug, but I, I found that that's kind of the solution. Okay, so this is Neptune after us. Uh, we didn't get A, but we got the other caps, so I... Oh, scheisse. I accept my defeat. Neptune, man, he's... It just, it just hurts to get hit by those uh, British cruisers. Okay, so we got l Lude Lena out there, her Yugumo. Just gonna shoot my torpedoes that way. Okay, he's going around. Fine. Let's uh, swap to HT and get the help our Manfred here. The the gearing's coming this way too, so he's probably gonna get torpedoed my CV. Let me warn him. There's torpedoes right there, sir. Oh, there's CVs over there as well. Imagine if we kill the gearing. I would. <laughs> nah, he's probably over this way. Going for the Drake, maybe. Okay, so there's C. Somebody needs to go grab C. Yeah, that's very much true. Are we. We're somehow detected. It's pretty annoying, if I have to admit. He's probably gonna turn. Yeah, he knows. Knows. We're spotted Enemy by plane. Oh wait, is he? Oh, he just barely stopped in front of those. Close, but no cigar. Let's. I mean, I'm gonna take A. I have to. Uh, sorry, C. My CV is gonna die. Um. I don't know why all Manfred players feel like they gotta go in the cap. So it's good to move with your CV, right? But not when you're not ahead. You know what I mean? You have to be ahead to actually 
Jesus. Yeah, so he's done. <laughs> he is done. Uh, okay. This just got, became a lot harder because they have a CV, we don't have a CV. And there's a Venezia trying to take C. He is low, so we can probably deal with him. Yeah, I believe, I believe we can deal with him. We still have two smokes left. We're just gonna... I mean, he has to dodge my torpedoes either way if he tries to go in. What's this? That's the Neptune. Come on, Nisumo. You can deal with the Neptune on your own, can't you? Yeah, this is this is why it's going to be a problem. The CV is per going to perma-spot us. Oh, uh, it's you're so scary. You're so scary. We have to reverse, hopefully, to dodge some of this incoming uh, damage. Okay, yeah, he overshot. Okay. We're contesting C at least. Oh, nice, nice, Isumo. Anna, my my best friend now. You're my best friend. So the Neptune's down. I take care of this Venezia, hopefully. Problem is, he is. He just healed. I think he's gonna turn inwards. I think he's gonna turn in. If he doesn't, fine. My Isumo's still here. He's almost dead. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. Of course, now this CV. I still have one smoke. I still have one smoke. So that's uh, good, I guess. We're just behind on points. That's kind of the problem. You're too slow. Get good. Get good. Get good! Okay. Now we have to do... Oh, now all we have to do is wait 50 seconds. Focus mode. Yeah, he's not going in the cap! He's not going in the cap! Of course! Yes! This is my plan. This was, My plan was to make him turn. So he doesn't go in the cap. Look, we're still gaining points. I have 30 seconds left. 22 on my smoke. We are good. Yeah, hello, Quartermeister. Hello. So, it ended up being a pretty good game in the end, I would say. We still have 6 seconds on my smoke. Yeah, he's sending out his bombers, but he won't have time. Nice! What a game. What a game. We get a solo warrior. Last hope. Uh, it's called solo warrior on PC. Last hope. Nice. So, I hope you're proud of me, Mr. Red Gaming Dino. I hope you're proud of me. Because I think that was a pretty good performance in the summers right there. Awesome. So, I know not a as eventful as last episode, but that's... For me, this is a good, a good episode. I got to do three ships. And we played the games, and they were just like normal, natural games. Awesome. It was a great time. I hope you enjoyed the video, folks. Please, keep putting your suggestions. And, I mean, I feel like this this episode, or this series, could continue even though I'm not grinding for rank 1. Because it's kind of fun just playing three ships, random ships. And, and of course, guys, you can request tier 8s, tier 9s, tier 7s, and even some tier 6s. But, you know, it's tier 6s, they don't give that many trophies, so I'm probably going to prioritize tier 7, 8, and 9. Uh, and 10, of course, because they do give the most. But my name has been Bubbly, and I am signing out.